Hello, Georgia Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set from the Spring and Summer catalogue, Blessings from Home, and I'm going to use this image here. And have a perfect birthday there. For the background, these two pieces, I'm using very Vassal and Quiet Meadow. I'm just using the script and the leaves and then the dotage here. Card base, I've got a card, uh, card. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. I have a two pieces of Whisper White, one at, uh, both of them at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and one for the front and one for the inside. have another piece at three inches. This is three inches by three inches square and another piece for the sentiment which I'll cut down anyway. So, that's got a mark on it. Oh no, it's not, it's a crease. And that will go in there and we'll cut it up. So we'll do, oh and you need some scrap for the flower, for this flower, we're done with the scrap. I'll have to, I need that, I need them, I don't need that for now, use a bit of this. A scrap. Right. Oh, here it is. So I don't need this big bit. Right, let's stamp this flower first with my memento ink. Ink it up. and stamp it down and we're going to cut this out using the dies like that clean the stamp a bit dry to damp it down put that away right for this we're going to use Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink and stamp up the sentiment There we are, have a perfect birthday. <coughs> Getting wet like my cloth's too wet, air uh, too dry. Up there midway, and we'll just chop this up. Oh, I don't need to do that. What am I doing? <coughs> I actually stamped that on here when I've done everything else so. Getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> right, let's do this. Right, I've got some pale papaya ink. Oh, 
and a brush and we're going to cover the paper or the card with a pale papaya done some that I don't normally do and that's colour on here but what's normal these days right that's all I needed to do just cover that in that I'll keep that then I got the script out of very uh, versatile, versatile, and I'm just going to do it by hand because I don't want the whole script and I'm just going to place it just around the edges like that. I'll get the branches and I'm going to place that there and then the dots like that there All I've done with that, now I've got my trimmer and trimmed it in half. Hopefully, that's half. Good guess. And that will sit on there like that with this on top. I'll do that afterwards. Let's colour this in. Right, put all these colours. Granny Apple Green, Soft Suede, uh, Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, but this is a dark one, Flirty Flamingo and Light Crumb Cake. Yeah. So we like crumb cake. Just going to do the stems. Dark old olive. I'm going to do some leaves. Now, with the other one, I did colour them all in in granny apple green, but this time I'm going to mix them up um, let's do these in the dark
I did all the leaves in this design. Right, I think I've got them all. <coughs> right now, um, soft suede. What I did with this is just went around the edge of the centre of the flowers. Tiny dots in the middle, then I got the daffodil delight and went over all of it. Oh, I've just found some more a leaf and it did it. Right now with the mossy mossy me no balmy blue all I did was the Shading, just put lines over the shading of what the stamp did. On the big flowers. And then on the small flowers, I just colour them in. The other one I coloured in in Rich Raspberry. And I thought that was a bit dark, so this one I'm going to colour in in Flirty Flamingo. See a bit of stone we missed. There we are. And that is our flower. Now we're going to cut this out. Just going to use these small plates. And the die. Moved it. Run that through. There's our lovely flower. Put that back in the bin. So now what we're going to do is just place them there, like the way I've got one them. And we're going to stamp our sentiment on the card itself. Right. Make 
each other straight. And stamp that there. Open it straight. Yes. And now we can stick everything down. So get our glue and we're gonna glue these pieces down. I'm going to glue this onto our card base, which I need to burnish. Dimensionals. That's what I use these outside edges. We'll place that like that on there. Now to get the black dot I did with my stamping up marker I just drew dots everywhere. And that's it. Now with the inside I did on my usual um sentiment wishing you the most wonderful day
And there we have our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, uh, you will receive notifications for videos I upload in the future, which is will be a Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.